We'll now look at the second of the two basic variances that we'll calculate with our earned value analysis. That is schedule variance. Schedule variance is calculated as the earned value minus the planned value. Once again, negative values are considered bad. So if we have a negative schedule variance, we're going to say that we're behind schedule. Positive is good, meaning that we're ahead of schedule or we're getting more done than we had anticipated. We're going to collect the three basic inputs, a plan value. So we'll run through this example we used previously for cost variance. We see the plan value at this time of the project is $2,574. Our actual costs are $3,000. And our earned value at this point is $2,067. Showing them again plotted on a graph. Showing the plan value in blue, actual cost in green, and the earned value in yellow. This time, however, we're comparing earned value to planned value. We come up with a negative $507. That's our scheduling variance at this point in time. Now, it may seem a little bit odd that we're saying that we have a variance in our schedule, and we're not talking about days or weeks or months, but we're talking about dollars. Well, that's because of the way that we're Doing the earned value analysis allows us to compare uh, how well our dollars are basically moving the project ahead as far as the schedule goes. However, we need to be fairly cautious when looking at some of these variances on schedule in our earned value analysis. We need to be careful when using money to measure time. Because remember that earned value is the percent of work complete. So even if this project gets done six months late or a year late, whenever it is completed, the earned value is going to essentially equal the planned value. Okay, Because we're going to take the planned value, we're going to times that by 100%, and we're going to come up with, in this case, $4,134. So we could very well have a situation where our project gets done not in week six, but in week seven. And we will have a scheduling variance at that time of zero. So the thing you need to remember is that looking at scheduling variance, scheduling performance index, and some of these other things we're going to talk about, where we're measuring our schedule or we're using money to measure time, that's all well and good while the project is underway or while that specific activity is underway, but it gets a little bit dicey once more and more project activities are completed. So just be careful when using money to measure time. Now just like uh, our calculations on cost, we will see in subsequent lessons that there are some indices that we can use to help us determine whether we are going to be a week late or a month late or maybe even a month early. Mm -hmm.